Right, so the first knife came out there from the tip of the pentagram right here. And I seem I have a choice between these two knives here. So what looks to be happening is that the knife goes out one point here. Uh, and it replaces the one that was already removed and then knocks out the one that's next to it so if I'm correct in that assumption when I click this knife here the one where the eyeball is it'll move up to the top there and then this guy where the thing where my finger is should uh, should pop out okay now how does that relate to the rest of the knives then so the next knife is to presumably replace um, the one that was there right at this kind of position at the star and it seems to have to it has to be two knives down like we have to like hop over a knife as it were and then that will effectively knock out this guy then so let's try that I think the point of this is obviously to take out all of the knives, but I'm trying to observe what the order of it is. So I have a choice now between this knife here and this one here. Let me think now. I can't see which knife this one would knock out. I presume this guy in the corner, but I suspect I'll need him. So, let me just try this one. Which way should I go now? Oh, I have a choice. Okay. That's different. Uh, oh. That is a that is a good question. I suppose I I might go up the top here actually, cuz then I'll knock out the one below it. Yes. All right. Or is it something like I have to Oh, hang on. No, I wouldn't be something as kind of like silly as getting all the knives into the center of the pentagram, right? Wouldn't be anything like that. Actually, let's try it. Does it fit into the corner? You know, it doesn't all. It fucking does. And that goes down to the... Oh, shit. And then that should go into the okay maybe that's the the means to solving the puzzle I suppose uh, hmm I'm trying to think now I have a I have a I have the choice of the two the all three knives now so if the movement is correct like the, what I'm thinking of uh, if I click this one it'll bounce over that and go to the t tip of the pentagram uh, and knock out that knife but what about this one though that's a question if I click that one it should go to the left hand side of the pentagram and knock out this knife and if I click this one it'll go down to the bottom and knock out this but there'll be still a move available next time to bounce over the next knife, leaving me with just the one knife, which potentially is the solution. Okay, I think this worked. Great move. Yes, okay, that's what it was. So it was very similar to the knife puzzle in a sense, or the spider puzzle but kind of worked in the opposite way. So that was that. That was um, pretty painless. So, okay. What's behind this door? I hope it's perfectly innocent and nothing bad has happened in this house at all. Well, some creepy stairs. Looks like we're going to uh, the attic, it seems. I can already smell the musk. You know... Hey, here we are. We have a scissors, a trunk, floating chair, mannequin. 
All the trimmings of a perfectly innocent attic. Aha, we have a f we have a house puzzle this time. That's the story with this guy. straight okay so I didn't quite catch the clue there Henry was speaking a little bit too quietly so let me just see now what's interesting about these shapes so we have these little these openings here which I noticed what I'm noticing just as a pattern has no say lines in the middle like you know how to um, splitters Sure, let's call them that. So they're not splitted. Um, uh, whereas, say, these semicircle uh, windows have are split once. So they have like two pieces. Uh, same here with these rectangular windows and the circular windows. Okay. And you seem to be all able to, to click. I only seem to be able to click a few of them predominantly the bottom of the house so I'm assuming that if I click one then it might affect the ones around it maybe that's what I'm trying to do here maybe I'm trying to like yeah let me see if I click one okay so it is lights so if I click that one what if I do if I click this guy interesting I don't think I don't think I got quite grasped what that was. This is trickier than it looks. Hmm. Okay, that's the starting off one. This is trickier than it looks. Hmm. See what the pattern to this is, but I'm not getting it. I'm noticing actually that the shapes are different with each one you select. This is trickier than and I'm not able to make to I can't seemingly go down uh, a floor. So I have to start off on Maybe I have to start off on this floor and then work my way up. Maybe that's what it is. So, potentially. No. You see, I was thinking that. Unless there's some sort of a system to it, like, you know, this window, you can't click this window ahead of this one. Just so I can try and see. This is. It certainly is. If I start with this and proceed then. Okay, now why is that uh, why is that clicking two on my behalf? Two extra windows. Is it a directional thing? No, it wouldn't be. Oh, maybe it is actually. Because if I click this one, I should reset. This is tricky. Yeah. Okay. If I click this here, well, obviously my only move is to go up. But oh no, never mind. You see, I was thinking it was like the how the the, the splitters are like positioned. They can kind of go. You know, that window allows you to go up or to the side whereas this one allows you to go up and mm, no that's just the same move I did last time this is trickier than it looks. okay let me try this corner here and just see just see where it takes me again going by the logic that I have to make progress up the house but something tells me I need to fill all these up I don't see how 
Maybe I just have to get to the top of the house. Maybe that's where it is. I'll try that. Okay. That doesn't seem to get me anywhere. Because my the only move available to me now is down here. So I don't understand why. I'm not getting... I'm not grasping what the system is here. Okay, I've got a straight line there. And it looks as like I go down again. So it definitely seems like I can't go down a floor. If I go down a floor, then the, the puzzle resets. So... Ah, there's some progress. Once again, I have to go back down now. Which is probably reset. No, no, it doesn't reset. This is tricky. Okay, there's some progress. This is tricky. <laughs> I'm straight. I don't I have no idea what's going on. No. This is I'm just trying this one to see if it does anything this. Okay. Let's probably try it the opposite way then. That just gives me, brings you around this in a circle. Why is it. I'm not understanding what the. Obviously, there's a reason why they're all with like different shaped windows, but there has to be a way of there has to be a, a system of movement with this, because it, with certain times I'm moving, I'm only being basically allowed to move down, which then presumably gives me no more moves to to uh, to make. Let me try and listen in on the. Uh, Puzzle again, let me or the the hint. You don't, you mind, don't mind me uh zooming in and out here. This is tricky. Well that that wasn't helpful. He just basically said, consider this game on the house. So, I think I might consult the book on this, just to see where, just to tell me what the hell I'm doing. Because <laughs> I have no clue at all. Oh, I didn't actually explore the attic really, did I? Is there anything to see? Apparently not. That's a very bloated door. That won't allow me, apparently won't allow me back in, back out. Ah, here we are. No, can I not get you there? No? Um, surely I'm not stuck up here, am I? I sincerely hope not. No, yeah, I think I am as well. Okay, I guess I have to find some sort of pattern to this, because I don't think I can get out. I'm stuck here now. I live here now. Let's find, uh, okay, so clearly there's, like, obviously there's several stages to this, so going by that alone, it seems like I need to make progress up the house, like, as in, like, you know, solve this, solve this part, and then solve the next two pieces, two sections, and then you're, you're true. But what's the significance of the windows? That's what I want to know.
Why is it that when I click certain ones, if I click this one guy here, I have a choice of three moves. And now only one move is available to, you, to me now. That's the only one available to me as well. And this is tricky. So what is it? Okay, I'll try that then. This is tricky. I okay. I'll try to. I seem to make progress up there, so I'll do that. This could very well become a an exercise in trial and error. No. It's not looking likely. All right. And let's go up. And I don't think I, I can't move up the. No. This is trickier. <sighs> okay, let's try. What? Well, okay, I have two possibilities on this side, so. And that's just a fucking dead end straight away. So that's grand. This is That's no, that's progress. This is then it's a dead end. <laughs> uh, you see, I, I'm just not understanding what makes the each window different. You know, what what's this? What's the significance of each one? This is do you have to do it in certain moves? That could that could that be it? If I count one, two, three, four. So that stopped at the four moves. Maybe that's what it is. I have to do this in four moves. Two, three, four. No, that's not it then. This is trickier than it looks. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's try this side. Do I get anywhere with this? This is no. trickier than it looks. Why? Okay, there has to be a there has to be a reason for that hap to happen. See, I can't click on any of these at all, which I don't grasp. This is trickier than it looks. Is it like a compatible? Is is it 